On this installment of Building Blocks of Jazz, Phil Dunlop focuses on the role of harmony, what he calls the flavor of jazz. Hi, and welcome to the Building Blocks of Jazz. My name is Phil Dunlap, and today we're going to talk about harmony. What is harmony? Well, if you think about most types of music, they're going to contain three basic elements, melody, rhythm, and harmony. And if we think of music like a bowl of ice cream, the rhythm is going to be the bowl that holds everything together, the melody is going to be the actual ice cream, and the harmony is going to be the flavoring. And just like there are many different types of ice cream, there are many different options with harmony that we can put together to create new flavors, which we call colors. So what is harmony? Well, at its essence, harmony is made up of chords. And a chord is two or more notes played at one time. For example, this is a chord. This is also a chord. Now what we do is we string these chords together to form what we call a chord progression. And that's exactly what chords do. Chords start us in one place, take us to another place, and then bring us back home again. And here's an example of a very uh, typical chord progression that's found in many different types of music. Now if I play the same chord progression again, but this time I stop on the second chord, your ear is going to tell you something. And what your ear should tell you is that something doesn't quite sound right. There's going to be this kind of feeling of suspension, like we haven't quite arrived home yet. So I'm going to play it again and stop on the second chord and see if you can hear what I'm talking about. Now the sound should be incomplete because what you're wanting me to do is go back to... Now these chord progressions work with the melody, work with the rhythm to create songs. And we're going to take a very simple example of a very well-known song called This Old Man, and we're going to build it from the ground up. So we're going to start with the rhythm. So here's our rhythm, our rhythmic pulse. And then we're going to add the melody. I'm just going to add some very basic harmony. Now what chords will allow us to do and what harmony allows us to do is take the essence, take the very same harmony but add some different notes to spice up the color or change the flavor of the song. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. So when you listen to that, you may be saying, hey, that's a totally different song, but it's not. The essence is there, the melody is there, and although I didn't play it in a very strict rhythm, the very core harmony is there, and I just added some notes to change the color, change the flavor of the music. So thanks for joining me here on the Building Blocks of Jazz. Tune in next time when who knows what great musical things we'll learn. Mm -hmm.